Look at all these mushrooms. Good God, that's a lot of mushrooms. Hey guys, Galusia here, bringing you some more industrial craft. And wanted to go over a few things with you. Uh, first, my changes. Um, I've said this before, but uh, a lot of times you want to play a game a lot. <laughs> and you can only play it so much because I'm recording for you guys and I can only post these episodes so often it's gonna be like two a week so to kill time boom went down into the mines as you can see you got some diamonds some lapis but look at all these freaking mats that's what I'm talking about that's what I'm talking about <laughs> um, went ahead and made a second stove uh, let's see is there anything cooking right now? I don't think so. I think we got 100% done. Yes, we did. Okay. But what I went ahead and did is I... Oh, oh, I forgot to put that cable there. I started my tower of cable. Didn't finish it yet. You know, you know, work with it with you guys a little bit. But I've been putting things together. I got the battery that's charged. So let me show you what I'm doing. And then I'll... Sh and then, yeah. So, oh, first of all, uh, this tower is going to be for the wind turbines and then this little shoot cable coming off the side is going to be for uh, solar panels eventually now, probably not this episode but soon so what happens is this cable is coming down and goes into the side boom of this transmitter now uh, it'll receive the power from the side so that's why we have it coming down like that and then it's going to issue the power from the top or bottom so in this case the bottom so built into the floor I have it come down but then I have it go into another transmitter you'll see it's coming into the side of this transmitter coming out the bottom and then I just uh, kinda wrap it up up into the floor into the bottom of these machines and then I'm just running the cable along the bottom of the floor to connect to all the machines this one's already got power in it and you're like hey why has that already got power in it well I had this transmitter hooked up to my generator which is slowly building up power from that so instead of taking the batteries and sticking them into the individual machines as it was needed I went ahead and hooked everything up ahead of time before making the windmill and this is actually a pretty good idea and it's uh, a little smarter than the last time I started a world in industrial craft because this way I was able to see that everything was working before I stuck the windmill on it so I got my transmitter here so I can just stick the battery in there it immediately starts dumping all that power at a real fast rate to the transmitter below if I can go down a ladder go down the ladder it's like battlefield see and it's building up now if this was you know if those machines were running it would have the same effect but this would slowly be going down afterwards so basically at this point I'm just building up my reserve like this is I guess this is my reserve now because the one on the bottom is the main one that's feeding the machines so this will be my reserve but alright back on track so the first thing we have to do is we need a couple more uh, switch cables kinda acts the same as a red torch does for like when you're making redstone circuits and stuff like that you can only go so far with a cable Um, so what we're going to do is every nine cable is going to be a switch cable uh, and depending on your setup there's certain ways you have to angle it but for this for a windmill you can just make a big tall tower and every ninth cable is going to be a switch cable and then the other thing we're going to do is build a windmill or two should be two. I think I have enough to build two. Didn't I build some batteries? And Yeah. Oh, we have questions. And I wanted to point out the questions. Uh, question number one. Well, actually, no. I have a question and a comment. And I wanted to say that if you guys have any questions about this world, then by all means, uh, ask away. So our actual question is um, that do you have to start a new world for industrial craft and the answer is yes because generator in the center iron around it all the 
new uh, materials, the the copper, the tin, all that stuff, won't be rendered in uh, in your world just because you stuck in industrial craft. Whatever was already rendered, windmills, won't um, won't show these new materials. It'll work, but you're not going to be able to find any new materials, so you're not going to be able to do any of this stuff. So obviously that makes no sense. So yes, you do have to create a new world. And then someone pointed out, and I had to test this, and in fact it did work, and I was actually pretty excited about it. Um, someone pointed out that the it uh you know when we make our uh, wire, and you do rubber, copper, rubber that you can actually use gold instead of copper. Now when you do copper it makes 8 cable, if you use gold it makes 12. So this adds a new purpose to gold and which makes sense cuz really good cable like think about like really good audio cables and stuff like that are you know have uh gold leads instead of uh copper cuz it's uh, a better conductor and stuff so on and so forth. So uh that makes sense like most of the stuff in industrial craft it just makes sense most of, most of the stuff in minecraft it makes sense okay one two three now the higher you go with this the better off you are um four five six because you're gonna get more wind uh... you're also gonna lose over every meter of cable like point two eus something like that but you make up for it in the amount of um the increased amount of wind. Seven, eight, and then our ninth block. How high am I? Where's the clouds? Okay, good. I'm pretty much in the clouds. My goal is to get above the cloud line because I've done this before where I was like right below the cloud line thinking like, well, that's got to be high enough. And it generated power, but not a ton of power. And then I was helping uh, Shaolina and my wife create a industrial craft world for herself and she went way above the cloud line like pretty much to the build ceiling and seven and hers was um, generating redonkulous amounts of power so yeah like way more than mine ever did so yeah I'm definitely going higher this time but this will be the last last one for me because then now what I'm gonna do is just go like one, two, and then bust out my transmitter. I like sticking a transmitter on the top. It helps to regulate the power coming down so it's not as sporadic from the windmill. And then another added bonus is that if you go a while without having to use your machines for whatever reason, and like those two transmitters that I have on the bottom, because like a previous setup I had would have been oh no I brought sand up with me that's not gonna help for me to walk side to side now is it I'll use cable <laughs> I was gonna say gravity is gonna be against me on that one um oh aha also to cheat the system here just stick down a piece of wood cable um gotta make sure these are separated enough but uh and then some more sand. I don't even know what I was talking about now. I get very easily distracted. Oh yeah, transmitters. So yeah, before I only had the one transmitter, and if I went just a little bit of time without using it, it would fill up. Um, and now you're wasting energy because you got this thing creating energy, which we can click on it, and you see these little. See that building up? that's the wind power that it's got going on now right now it should be a little bit lower than it's actually gonna be because I'm standing in front of it and so are these blocks you gotta keep space around these things to uh... to generate power I'm gonna have to pick all that poop up when I get down there <laughs> um, but you should see this fluctuating see how it's just building up and and immediately discharging it downward but eventually when we're not using this thing it's going to um, when the two on the bottom fill up, then I did it again. Then this one up here is going to start storing it as well. So that when you start using your machine, like let's say like, you know, you're not really using a lot of machines and you go off and, um, you know, 
like look for a bunch of ore underground or you're looking for a lot of trees above ground whatever you're doing you're just off for a while and that one's generating power too winning um but you didn't really have a lot going on with your machine so they're just sitting there when you come back everything's going to be 100% charged up and then you're going to come back with all these resources from whatever you were doing you're going to start using all your machines and uh, a lot of times you're going to use power quicker than you're going to generate it that does happen maybe not right now with the amount of machines that I have but we're going to be creating more and more machines as time goes on so that is definitely a foreseeable uh, reality and but with the reservoirs that you have of energy stored then you shouldn't have to worry about it. Um, so now the only thing we really have left to do with this, uh, see our nice little U shape. You want to keep a space around it, so that's why I gapped it out so that there's uh, uh, five of air between it. One, two, three, four, five. Um, they have to be at least five away, if I'm not mistaken, and there can't be anything within two below and above them. So that's why we went three out and then two up, made this nice U shape in the sky which is obviously very high and seems to be generating power at least up there with the transmitter we saw that it was building up power make sure I got all my cables that fell and uh, I guess I did why not ah so now come in here boom now we see this doing the same thing that the one at the top is doing slowly builds up a little bit and then dumps it back down check our guy down here boom now you see him just building up that's not going anywhere because the machines aren't doing anything right now so that's awesome and this one uh, I guess is done cooking I, I like to have something separate from the system and this is kind of like my emergency reservoir where I could always go ahead and stick a battery in it and then run over here real quick and go oh no bzz, because what can happen is again even with all these reservoirs going on uh, I got all four of these things running and then let's say you know in the f near foreseeable future I start you know going beyond this I got we're gonna make a, a compressor real real soon we're gonna make a compressor that's a major on my to-do list because where are they at BAM plant balls or clumps whatever which is made by saplings and you make a circle like that in your craft window um, which we're gonna compress and then we're gonna make biofuel biofuel is way more efficient than sticking coal in here that way I can stop sticking coal in there I can use coal for other stuff um, a can of biofuel which takes three compressed plant clumps and five pieces of iron and then you stick it in the extractor to I guess enrich it I don't know and then you stick that in your generator that's gonna create uh, 32,000 power levels for you so way more efficient than coal and it gives a whole new purpose to the um, what are they called ah, saplings and besides that guys we're gonna do a recycler which enables you to turn all your random poop as the sign says like dirt and sand that I may not need uh, into something useful actually I do need sand though because oh wait I have a stack of sand on my person I'm gonna make a stack of glass because I need glass uh, for a solar panel solar panel requires uh, three glass three coal dusts so you gotta stick some coal in the macerator and what else I think a generator probably and probably some circuits so yeah so solar panels are coming up but that's only when I start you know thinking that the windmills aren't cutting it because I, I don't want to waste all my resources on generating power right now because we're not using that much power but as you can see this is powered and there was no battery in it and this will stay full the whole time it's running um, Ooh. And it looks like the bottom one's already full. See, the wind turbine's way up there on the top. Yeah, it is. The wind turbine's way there on the top. Do such a better job. So now that one's already full. And this one's working on it. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome.
And just with that one machine running, it seems to be pretty much staying even. Hmm? Maybe not. No, right now it's not. Even just with that one machine running, it seems like it's taken more than it's given. But it could also just be not that windy right now. Believe it or not, Minecraft uh, <laughs> has wind variances, apparently. And there are times that that will generate more power than others. Um, so you got to take that into consideration when you're when you're watching it like that. And you're like, Jesus, it's using up a lot of power because it is using up a lot of power right now. It's definitely taking more than it's giving. But um, that could just be expected because wind variances and so on and so forth. But we will be adding the solar panels, so it's all good. And then, like I said, we have our reserve if need be. Plus, after I'm done cooking this glass, I'm not going to need these machines for a little while because we're just going to be working on building stuff for a little bit. And I'm not, I don't have any resources right now because, obviously, I gathered a lot of resources and finished smelting all the stuff that I wanted to smelt. So, um, these are going to build up, and then so much so that, like, if this is full, then I'll actually start taking power out of it and dragging it over to this one just to store it, just like a big old battery just sitting there storing, because right now it's not cooking anything, and I, you know, I could fit three more batteries of juice in here, so why not? But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We uh, got our tower of windmills done and the wiring under the floor. Learned a little bit about gold, which I thought was cool. Um, the uh, the person that commented on the gold was Mega Cake or Death, so thank you for that comment. And the person with the question about whether or not you need to start a new world was East Coast Kid. Um, so thank you for your question, uh, guys. Make sure you uh, post comments and ask your own questions if that you have about this, and I'll try to address them in the actual game. I address those questions in the comments that you got an immediate answer but then for everyone's benefit I'll also answer it uh, in here and it may not be the very next episode because sometimes I record these you know like back to back or something but you know I will get to them thanks for watching guys laters